let's just talk about that yeah, midfield because tick, the, tick. yeah, the, the one profile midfielder that Chelsea doesn't really have is in the form of Declan Rice. And of course, he's just turned down his, his, the third offer from West Ham that would make him the highest paid player in the club. We're not suggesting in any ways it's because he wants to move. Also, maybe he wants to look at how this Europa League season pans out for him as well. And then they talk about new contracts. But could Chelsea use someone like him? Everyone could use someone like Declan Rice. He's been outstanding this would, season. Would Chelsea pay for, for a figure of 150 well, million? Can, can they pay? Yeah, it, it, that's, a, that's a big price. Whether yeah. they could get 150 million for Declan Rice is, is, you know, is something else. But as far as Chelsea goes, yeah, they would definitely, definitely want Declan Rice. And as I said, every club would want him. He's an outstanding player. Um, you know, there'd be so many people in this summer wanting him. But I think the biggest thing with Deck at the moment is he's. Everything's separate. That is separate. His performances mm. have been outstanding. He's he's still got so much passion and and desire, and he shows that for the fans. And that's exactly what that's all they want to see. Mm. Contra contract situation sort it out in the summer for him his part. Can, can you read into the fact why he's he's turned this new contract offer down? Can you read into it? Yeah, you can. Obviously, yeah. he wants to Absolutely. go and win trophies yeah. like any player. So if it's you know he's been linked to Man United, you know, but are they? Are they going to be winning trophies in the next couple of years? He's still young. He's got the opportunity to grow and he's going to get better. You know, he is going to get better. He's still learning the game, but he's going to want to go and win trophies if he's going to move anywhere. You can read everything into it. You know, otherwise, why wouldn't he sign a contract? As simple as that. West Ham's highest ever paid player, of course. He's a Champions League player who deserves to be playing Champions League football. Now, if West Ham win the Europa League, then there's every chance he could possibly stay. If they don't, and we're wearing our West Ham hats on right now, we don't want him to leave, but he would improve every single yeah. side in the Premier League. Mm. But also, also, I think if he does, if they do win the Europa League, I still don't think it's done unless they show him that they're going to go into the transfer market and West Ham are going to buy big players as well. Because if yeah. they don't, you know, no, they've no, got to build no, on absolutely. what they've done. But if you, if you get into the Champions League, then you have to. Yeah. You have to bring big players yeah. in. You have to spend a bit of money. And you, th this is the moment now for West Ham if they want to somehow, and they are overachieving. Yeah. You know what, what's happening this season. If they want to get into the Champions League, this might not happen again for another decade or who knows how long. This is the moment if they are to win the Europa League, and we're assuming a big thing there. Mm. Then you need to step it up and bring in the players that Declan Rice would want. I personally don't think he will sign another contract at West Ham. He would be superb here at Chelsea. The West Ham fans would absolutely hate that, <laughs> but the Chelsea fans would love it because he started here as a kid and was released yeah. by Chelsea. Yeah, but do you think on a West Ham perspective that they could, they want to keep Declan Rice, obviously, but could they perhaps benefit from the financial gain that they might get from him? If you're talking about rebuild, yes, yes they'll get more money yeah. by being in the Champions League. Yes, of course, but this is another £150 million. Yeah. Yeah. Look, they're definitely going to benefit from you know, the money, but are you going to be able to assign a player like Declan Rice? Like you're, for, you're going to spend a lot of money because there isn't anyone like him at the moment. You know there isn't. You know he, the way he plays, the way he dominates games, the defensively, the attacking. You know he's got a great footballing brain. You know it, it's it's really hard to pick another player that can then you can sign that can go and do exactly what he does, even if you've got 150 million to spend. Hey, look, no one's going to pay 150 million. Look, I, I talk about everybody's really really important, but 150 million for a, a, a central midfielder, it, it's not going to happen. But 100 million could happen, and that is a lot of money. And yes, you still can in, bring in different players. I just I just let, can't see how they might not have the same passion let, let, let as ask, him as well. Let me ask you a question: yeah. Is there the another club. England player who has been as good as he has? this season. Now, when you think about what happened with the Euros, from a physical and mental point of view, Harry Kane struggled, Harry Maguire mm. struggled, Luke Shaw. I mean, we could go through the team about Colin the amount Phillips of players, well, yeah. either, either injuries or just loss of form. He's the one player who's been absolutely superb and, it's if anything, has got even better. Yeah. Yeah. But even if it's, at, if it's at 100 mil, how many clubs in the Premier League is able to pay that? If you're looking at maybe Chelsea, again, the sanctions has created a whole, a whole slew of yeah. problems. Manchester United, does he really want to go to Manchester United? Manchester City, if they're looking to spend on Erling Haaland, will they spend 100 million again on, on Declan Rice? No, I don't think City will, to be honest with you. I think they, he would improve them, but I don't think they will spend 100 million. They will go all in on Haaland, Haaland. because it's not just the, the buyout clause of 75 million euros. It's, it's actually everything else that comes with it in terms of wages and yeah. for his agent. There's a lot of money being spent there. He, I don't think Liverpool would spend that type of money either, to be honest with you. I, I, 
I, I would if I was the Liverpool hierarchy, because I think he would improve Liverpool. And, and but seeing, that's not the sort of bracket that, that it's not, um, exactly. money that it's Liverpool not, spends. It's yeah. not, but seeing that City are going to get better next season, I think Liverpool have to realise that they've got to get better as well if they're going to hang on their coattails. But this is probably the play. This and Manchester United are the two teams where they could turn around and say, yes, we can spend. And look, we don't know what's happening in terms of who's going to be the owners, but they've got to put down two and a half billion pounds to actually buy the club and then another billion pounds for funds coming up in the next few years. So the money will be there, Michelle. I want him to stay as a West Ham player, but I'm telling you, he would be superb here. And we talk about getting the best out of Lukaku mm. to lift up to you know, City and Liverpool as well. Bringing in Declan Rice would, would close that gap.